baseball from the Lone Star State. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels and the Texas Rangers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll. And our pitcher tonight, John Gray. Yeah, and as Rip tells you, he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So they're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Ready to go. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Nolan Shonowell. The pitch. That one finds the zone. And this one is off and running. And a pitch. And it's one and one. One oh. up the middle and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you gotta make them pay. Here's Luis Guillorme. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. First pitch and that's in for a strike. That's down and in. I got a ball, one strike. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Two more. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. One out. Base is empty. as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Now just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Taylor Ward at the plate and takes high there. Up and in, two and oh. And Whoa, another ball. Right and base hit. And that extends the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Willie Calhoun, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Fought off foul. And takes low for ball one. It's 
Spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And here it comes. Just misses with that one. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Kevin Pillar hitting on deck circle. Gray moved to first. Oh, and he dives back in safely. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Out towards left center. Tavares makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels nothing. Rangers coming to bat. You're dialed into the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, and getting the call here. Griffin Canning and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel different between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. And he deals. On the ground to the left. Gior made a first. And Simeon is out. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Travis Jankowski. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position? Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close, late-game situation Inside, with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? One down, base is empty. That's Just bolted. missed. Doing out. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. A massive home run. His second home run of the series, and the Rangers take the lead. It's 1-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? And a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. A little bit high. And that's ball one. Part of the order coming through now. And with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The wind of the pitch. Hey. And ball another three. ball. Eight. Cut on and missed two. 96 of that fastball. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. Gets to it on the oh. first. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball.
He swings and fouls one off. Two out spaces empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Arlington, second inning, set to go. So in now for the Angels, Kevin Pillar. And the pitch. There's a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire, very consistent with his zone, Chris, gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog, and I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way, so people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Kicks and deals. Out to center. Tavares settles under it. Makes the grab one away. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Now one out to right. And he makes the catch. And there's two down. Now a chance for Mickey Moniak. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0-1. Moniak, in his third season, 25 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2016. Glover to right field, way back. That one felt good, and we're level. It's 1-1. This game is breathing new life thanks to that home run, and that's exactly what they needed. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Next to hit, Zach Neto. Down the middle for a strike. And it's 0-1. In there at the knees. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. And no. one and two. Yes, Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. The shortstop takes the ball. The next pitch misses. Three and two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. 
Angels get one with a solo homer. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We head to the bottom of the second. Well, the Here's Rangers. the third baseman, Josh third Smith. Baseman. And a pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. There's a strike at the knees. Just misses. And it's even up. To the right side. Steps on He's first up. for the out. That is good. The catcher. Yoda. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. First pitch misses. All tied up, bottom half of inning number two. And a good eye there. Another ball. On the ground. And foul ball. Righty to the plate. In the air out towards right center. Pilar flashes the leather on the run and catch. Such an impressive display of athleticism while making the catch. It takes so much mental focus to pull it off, especially in the outfield. Just a fantastic play to rob a hit. Travis Jankowski, the next to hit, takes ball one. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Ward makes the catch in and over. We play two full innings and we're tied 1 1. On to the third inning. So in now for the Angels, Kyron Paris. Gray back to work. Just missed. And there's the strike. Slider misses outside. Here comes a pitch. That one fouled off. And the righty deals. Three balls, two strikes. Got him swinging for the strikeout. 
pulled the string on the changeup. Well, he hadn't seen that changeup the entire bat until that putaway pitch, and it's pretty tough to deal with as a hitter. You're up there battling, trying to read and react with two strikes, and then all of a sudden the pitch comes out of nowhere, and it's a good changeup. It's just almost impossible to hit it when you haven't seen it. And here's the first baseman, Nolan Shonowell. Chop to third, Smith. Whips it to first. Two up, two down. Now Down the number two hitter, Luis Guillorme. First Ball offering, and it time. just misses. That clips the inside corner for a strike. One and one. Yeah, the right hander deals. Line drive, base hit down the line. And that keeps the inning alive. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. It didn't exactly connect with this one as he met it out front, but he still put a decent enough swing on it to get it into the outfield. You know, and if you finish the swing and just extend your follow through, you're going to run into Knox just like that. Digging in, Taylor Ward. That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0-1. Two outs. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Right hander kicks deals. Nope. That misses. Now one and two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The one two. Come on and miss. Struck him out. Out number three. Angels lead one. Score remains tied 1 1. And we're back. Bottom of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Ezekiel Duran. The pitch. And inside that's off one. the inside edge. Ball one. And that one fouled off. Bounced up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and he's out at first. Here's Leody Tavares. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the last half of the third. Right through there for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Fights it off, you'll see another. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Good eye right there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Gets a piece and stays alive. Duran aboard here at first with nobody out. And another ball. 
So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. And he walked him. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So the batting order turns over. Here is Marcus Simeon. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. That's in for a strike. He's looking for a strikeout or a ball on the ground for a double play to sort of calm this situation down. A one down. And fouled off. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Chopped left side. One at second. Out. On to first, double Chopped. play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball Deep being up. such a team sport. Seeger stands in now. He's already homered in this game. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. And just misses with that one. And there's a the ball. Two outs with a runner at third. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Three. Got him. Huge strikeout there. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Globe Life Field, leading off Willie Calhoun. Willie Calhoun. The why to kick the pitch. On the corner for a strike. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, throw to first. He's on target. He got him. Nice play. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Here's Kevin Pillar. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. This to third. Smith. Fires across the diamond and a couple of quick outs. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. That misses the zone. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. In the air, right field. Jankowski settles underneath it. He's there. He's got it. And that's the third out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Tied 1-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Nathaniel Lowe. Low. 
as he turns on the rubber and with that good live on delivers nope. Ball one. that one missed home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit next it's pitch is inside down 2-0 you don't want to get beat by a fastball in and he spits on that one line drive base hit off to a good start with a leadoff down now they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. No outs. Runner at first. Now it's the DH. Adolis Garcia. Yeah. Pitch in for a strike. Going along. Swing and a miss. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. And here it comes. Got him looking. And that's the first out. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Now the third baseman, Josh Smith, grounded out his first time up. This one ripped, but foul to the right. One away, tie game, go ahead, run, stands at first. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Fall off foul. On the ground left side, six, four, out, three, double play, and the inning is over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back in Arlington, new inning getting started. Here's the center fielder, Mickey Moniak. Mickey Moniak. The right-hander back to work. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. All one's the count. Wouldn't chase one. that time. That's a strike. And a count. One and two. One ball. Two strikes. Left hand batter waits. And another ball. On a line. And that one hops the wall. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Go ahead run on base. And now the shortstop, Zach Neto. Struck out swinging his first time. That clips the zone. Strike one. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Fly ball down the line. Sizes this one up. He's got it. Ronnie tags it second. He is oh, safe. Kyron Paris, the next to hit for the Angels. 
0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on. Have the force at second first. Perhaps get... Lined, and that's a base hit. Runner from third into score. And a 2-1 ball game now. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Paris leads off first with one away. In the air to left center, Duran on his way over, nabs it. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Luis Guillorme getting ready to hit one for two. First pitch just misses. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. That one pushed to the left and foul. The 1-1. One -one. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. But well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. The pitch. That one ripped, but foul. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. Let's say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. Looking to get the tying run on base. That Whoop. one just okay. misses. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Makes the catch and there's one gone. That's a big first out right there and that changes things. Yeah, you can kind of see how just the hope and optimism is shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. And fouled off. That's a little bit low. A one-run lead. Last half of inning number five. Right side, Paris. Just the first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Last chance now for the Rangers. So next to hit for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Next pitch is outside. Lifted to left, and this should do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, a tight 2-1 ball game. Classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution, and neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win.